Hey, we have some Etsy Money 2 stuff. I received an amazing Etsy payout. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so grateful for this. Um, and I want to get it stuffed because I want to get it out of the account. So let me show you the money because I'm always transparent about that. So I received... $738 for my Etsy payout. $61 is going towards my Verizon credit card to pay off a little bit of spending I did. Um, I am still trying to stay credit card debt free. So if I have a small balance, you know, a balance on there, I try to pay it off with Etsy money. Um, $167 is going towards my Amazon card for supplies. I like to leave a small buffer of $30 in my bank account. I'm putting $50 towards taxes. $100 is going to my Royal Caribbean card. I'll explain that in a second, which leaves $330 left to put towards the Save 2023 in 2023. So as far as the Royal card, um, I was able to pay the entire balance from our last cruise. We had that humongous bill. Afterwards, I was able to pay that. I still had some left, but then we went and booked another cruise. So the deposit was $1,200. Half of that I got from my husband. I got $620. Um, so I paid the $620. So there was about $600 left. Um, I paid some of that. I'm not sure how much, but then... I went and booked an excursion and uh, drink packages for myself and my husband, just like the soda package, because both of those things were very cheap and I didn't think they would get any cheaper and I wanted to take advantage of the cheap price, but obviously now they need to be paid. So I have about a $600 balance right now on my Royal Caribbean card. So $100 of this money is going towards that. Yes, I could put the remainder towards my royal card but I'm really trying to get this save 2023 challenge done and then maybe I can use some of that to pay it off I also need to come up with just under $500 because let's see today's August 15th in just about two weeks two and a half weeks we are going to the beach for three nights and about like I said, just under 500, that is going to be my portion. And I have no idea where that's coming from yet. So um, there are a couple things looming over my head that I really want to get paid. I need that money for vacation. And, you know, I really want to pay off that Royal Caribbean card so that I don't get any interest. Um, so we'll just, you know, work through it. Yes, you know, I could use this money also towards vacation, but I'm not. Uh, my goal is to try to get this challenge finished as soon as possible or, you know, maybe some smaller challenges finished that I can use that money towards, you know, vacation or whatever. But just to, you know, keep things fully transparent and explain to you, you know, where the money's coming from and where it's going and why. Um, okay, let's quickly do taxes and then we'll get on to the good stuff. So... In taxes, we're going to be putting $50, so we're going to go ahead and add that. And I wrote down $50. Yes, it should be much more than $50, um, but then I almost I almost crossed it off and <laughs> almost didn't do anything towards taxes, but then I thought, no, Wendy, you at least put something in there. <laughs> so um, $50 it is. All right, so we should have 982 in here now. We have 500, 700, 800, 900, 950, 70, 80, 1, and 2. Perfect. $982 in taxes. And yeah, we will just see. I would love to, you know, not need this money and be able to maybe make a large debt payment or something. I don't know. I have no idea how taxes are going to go this year. Um, so I just have to wait and see. All right, let's get on to the good stuff. So as I said, we have $330 to put towards our Save 2023 challenge. Now, this is prop money or fake money. 
Um, and I recently watched a video from D over at D Plans and Budgets. If you have not heard of her or checked her out, please do. Um, she has awesome content and she recently made a video, one of her most recent, about a lot of people were, um, you know, leaving her some kind of like nasty, nasty comments about her using prop money, basically saying that she was making everything up. Like, what's the point in that? First of all, I would actually get sad if I looked at <laughs> prop money knowing that I, I didn't have the actual money to back that up. But <laughs> just so you all know, every single dollar I use in prop money is a real dollar that I have in the bank. Okay. So I just don't see the point of making up money that, you know, you don't actually have. I mean, I guess if you want to look good or something, but <laughs> yeah, I am not claiming to be richy rich. I am, you know, just like all of you. So I just wanted to put that out there. Um, you know, all of the prop money I use, every single dollar of it represents a dollar that I have in the bank. And the reason I don't take the cash out and put it into my envelopes is simply because I want to get interest. I use a high yield savings account. And so I get interest every month, which is free money. Um, I forget exactly how much I've gotten this year to date, but, um, you know, even a couple dollars here and there is a help and like I said it is basically free money so that's why I feel like you know if you're using all cash you're kind of missing out on that interest but I do understand some people don't like the prop money so all that to say that that money is already in the bank so let's turn to our challenge and see what kind of damage we can do today all right, so I am going to put 330 on the calculator and let's see what we can do. I wanna to try to get the biggest numbers knocked out as usual. So I see a 54. I see, let me, uh, well, you know what? I'm gonna color as I go this time because I don't wanna forget the numbers. So we'll do 54. Okay, and I, f I actually neglect every single time, for whatever reason, I don't know why, to say who this challenge is from, so I'm very sorry about that. This is from Madeline over at Madeline Budgets. Now, it is linked in my description, but yeah, it's from um, Madeline Budgets. She does have a 2024 version now, so if you're interested in this, go over to her Etsy and pick this up. All right, so we have $276 left, so what's the next biggest? We have a 52 and that might be our last 50. So let's go ahead and take care of this 52. All right. So I think we're down to the 40s now. I see a 48, two 48s. Oh, there's a 49, so let's do the 49. All right, and then let's see if we could get these two 48s done. We can we'll still have 79 bucks yes all right so we have 79 dollars oh we have another 48 so let's go ahead and do that and then we have 31 dollars left and perfect there's a 31 so i'm just gonna go ahead and color in this 48 and this 31 and then we can add up the money all right you guys we did it we colored everything in it is starting to look a little bit fuller, so yay. Very, very excited. Let's go ahead and add the money and see what we're up to with this. All right, so we got 300. 20 and 10. All right. This is a fat stack, you guys. 200, 3, 4, 5, 6, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 
20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000. Yes! 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,100. 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 11, 55, 56, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 1170 dollars. Yes, we are officially halfway, a little over halfway on this challenge. Yes, I am so, so excited. Let me see if I can exchange one, two, three, four, five for a 500. Um, but, you know, that's really it for the video if you guys don't want to stick around. Um, just thank you so much for all of your support. I would obviously not be here at all without any of you. Um, and I'm just so thankful. So, yeah. Um, a lot of these 20s are real because I use a lot of my rollover cash from my wallet to stuff this a lot of the time. So I can't exchange much. But I'm going to see because, you know, it's getting pretty thick and taking kind of long to count. <laughs> so we got 20, 40, 60, 81 here. 20, 40, 60, 81. So I'm just going to switch that out. And then we have two tens for a 20. And then five... Six, seven. We can't do anything there. Okay, so we made it a little bit smaller. Okay. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, for coming along. Um, yeah, I really have to hustle these next couple weeks because, like I said, I want to get that credit card pay paid off. I want to get that money for the beach, and I just don't have it in the paycheck. Um, you know, things were a little bit tighter this month. So, we will just go ahead and see what we can get done, you know, with what I have at my disposal. So, um, I also want to say, which, because I feel like I, you know, neglect to say this all the time, but... Um, please know that, you know, I am fully aware of how lucky I am. Um, I know this money is never guaranteed. I never budget with this in my regular paycheck. I never expect a payout from Etsy or anything like that. Um, which is, you know, why it's always a nice little extra stuffing that I get to do when I do get a payout. Um, you know, again, I never expect or plan on any certain income from Etsy. So yeah, that's why it's extra special when I do get to do one of these side hustle stuffings. So thank you again. I love you all. I am just so grateful to have you here and have your support. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye.